Welcome back. North Korea launching a ballistic missile into the Sea of Japan again, just ahead of President Trump's meeting with China's President Xi Jinping at Mar-a-Lago tomorrow. Now, the two-day summit is following five previous weekend trips that the president has made to the Winter White House, they're calling it, in Mar-a-Lago, in the 12 weeks since he's been president, irritating some Palm Beach locals, apparently. Jeff Flock is covering this story from Palm Beach, Florida, this morning. Jeff, good morning to you. What are you hearing? Maria, good morning to you. I come to you perhaps a bit overdressed for the beach here in Palm Beach, but I think there'll be plenty of people with suits here very shortly. It's a lovely day, as perhaps you can see, but as you report, folks that live in the Millionaire's Row back off there somewhere behind me, getting a little bit sick of all the excitement. They're used to the wealthy keeping a kind of low profile here, but the impacts, just as it was for President Obama coming back to Chicago and the bushes to Kennebunkport and uh, and the Crawford Ranch kind of disrupts things when they're here, particularly the local airport. That's the Lantana Airport. It's where some of the private jets come in for the uh, well-heeled, also where they have a lot of flight training. And when the president comes to town, all of that shuts down. And the, we talked to the person that runs the local flight school there who says it's not working out for her. It's definitely frustrating because we have a lot of customers that only fly on the weekends. So now they're going weeks without flying. So they're extremely frustrated and asking us, you know, what are you going to do about it? And we don't really have an answer for them because there's nothing we can do about it. Of course, uh, I would be uh, important to point out that there are plenty of uh, Trump supporters here as well. And they actually, uh, as some of us did in Chicago when the president would come, uh, kind of excited about all of the uh, all of the uh, attendant attention. Of course, this week's going to be pretty intense. Listen to what one told us. Any change in routine kind of throws people off and it shakes them up a little bit. But everyone seems prepared for you know they know he's coming. They know when they can go, and I, I really don't see it as that big a deal. You know, what better place to show off the great country we have? I can also point out, Maria, just some late breaking news. The, uh, the Chinese leader, Xi Jinping, will not be staying at Mar-a-Lago. He'll be uh, down the street a bit. So a little bit more shutdowns, perhaps, in the offing here. But history being made as well. So we'll see where it all goes. We'll be watching that, Jeff. Thank you so much. Jeff Flock in Palm Beach this morning. Still